testing the Army's new super ammunition. So here we are uh, with the Army's new 68x51 cartridge. This is the one that they are currently uh, utilizing and issuing to uh, US Army soldiers. It has not seen widespread circulation yet, but I assume that it, it will be sometime in the near future that this is happening. This will become the new surplus ammo um, that will be coming out of the United States Army sometime, you know, in the next few years. And uh, I got a case of this stuff, and it is a 113 gram ball ammo but it's not a standard projectile this is a um combination alloy they don't tell you exactly what it is but it's a special alloy um and it's a solid alloy it's a combination of copper and brass and it is absolutely designed for armor piercing they don't state that it's designed for armor piercing but if you go and you look at the military's development of this round and what sega said about it this is designed to defeat all body armor including uh, future body armors. So um, I'm gonna be testing this ammunition. I'm gonna take it to the range. I'm gonna see um, how fast it's going and the type of accuracy you can get out of the military grade ammo. There was previously civilian ammo that was available and that stuff has um, been utilized, but it is not the same thing that the military developed it for. It's not the same, but it's not the same ammunition that was developed for the military and that's what this is. Um, so we're going to test it and we're going to test it on some body armor. Um, I got some Russian Soviet body armor, Soviet, I got some Russian body armor. There was, um, a recovery from, um, uh, Ukraine. Um, I don't know what it's composed of. I think the plate is 500 AR steel. I weighed it and it weighs the same as, or about the same as AR, AR 500 steel plates. So this is probably just some of the cheap stuff that they get for their soldiers. Um, but we'll test it against AR-500 steel, and then I'll test it against other things if it defeats that. So um, that's pretty much it. They have developed this specifically for the purpose of defeating body armor. Um, and we've had armor piercing before, but it's usually a core, and this is a solid, so it's very different. Um, and it's going at very high velocities, and we're going to test it out, and we're going to learn everything we can about it, and I'm going to tell you the results. So I'll be firing out of my custom-built SIG Cross Chambered in 277 Fury, which I built myself, and it hasn't blown up yet, so that's, that's pretty good. Uh, hopefully it won't blow up today with this new ammo, and we'll get some really good groups out of it, and we'll get some good testing to see how well it does. 3397 is it so 3397 is the average over 20 shots with the lowest being 3361 and the highest being 3436 so that is quite a large uh standard deviation so it's about 20 which is usually what you get with the military grade ammunition i would not be using this in a match of any kind uh, i wouldn't even call this like sniper grade honestly um there's a lot of variables in there you don't see a lot of it in 100 yards, but at greater distances, that's going to cause a lot of problems. Um, so the standard deviation is about 20, and I would not count on this ammunition for precision ammunition purposes. However, I think uh, for general ammunition purposes, we'll see. I'm going to go take it out and shoot some body armor with it, and we'll see how it does. But that's pretty much it for the uh, this testing of the ammo. Here's the target. And it's just about one MO away, which is kind of about what I'd expect with military grade ammo. So we're on the woods today to finish the testing of this round. And we're going to test this armor pierce capability to see how well it does. And so I got this here uh, Russian loot drop from Ukraine <laughs> that I got through the mail on eBay. 
that, uh, well, it's a little shredded, but um, I have genuine Russian armor, so we're going to put it in front of this dummy, and we're going to see if we can defeat Russian body armor with it. And yeah, it hit the steel and it looks like, yeah, it looks like it went, it went through. Yep. Look at that. Went through and just grazed the neck. So it looks like just standard Russian body armor gets defeated by, this is just the standard round that they're issuing to the U.S. Army for use with the XM7. So, I guess we're just going straight armor piercing now. Okay, so we're back out here again because yesterday's um, results were kind of interesting and I wanted to do an additional test since we don't really know, I don't really know where the Russian armor came from or what its exact composite is. Um, I decided to come out here with my personal body armor and we're going to test this um, because this is the best that you can get in personal defense. Uh, I have the Safe Life FRAS in here, uh, which is a level four soft plate. And I have um, a UHMPW um, E level three plate behind it. So this is like a level four plus, um, and this will stop armor piercing, 30-06, um, steel core, tungsten core, like 5.56. Five, I've shot these with it before and it'll stop up to like a 338 Lapua Magnum, um, is what I found. Maybe more, probably not like a 50 cal or something like that, but this is pretty much the best you can get. And we're gonna shoot it with this and we're gonna see what it does. Oh my God. Okay, let's take it out and see how it looks. I don't know if I can get this out. This is down. Get this out of here so there's the frass right there and it is severely deformed so that's pretty much done for so we stopped it however the claim is that this is supposed to defeat all body armor past present and future and it is not going to do that can you stop it sure you can stop it you're gonna have to carry a couple extra pounds worth of plates on you um to get it to stop but other than that body armor does not protect your head so we're gonna go ahead and give mr dummy here a send off well rose sprung a leak a zombie leak I mean, it just flies right through because it's just so powerful. It just blew a hole right through. POV, you like the diddle kids. So this is pretty much the end of our little six eight by five one journey together. Um, you know, I learned a lot about the round and its limitations of the Army's new super duper future round, and hopefully y'all did too. And and there's a lot that we learned together and had fun doing it. So if you stay this long, I thank you for staying this long. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.